welcome back. I hope you had a nice Christmas. We're going to go straight in with a bit of delayed news in the form of the new Belial, who was revealed on Christmas Day, but I was busy. So we're doing it now. Unfortunately, I'm unable to see the future or access articles before they have been published, so I was unable to record a video for this on the day it was dropped, because that would have required seeing it before it appeared, which is not a thing I can physically... Maybe spiritually I could do it, but, you know, factually, no. So, we're going to have a look at Belial and some new fancy lads to go along with him, which I'm kind of excited to take a look at. I have managed to not look at any of these yet. I've been saving myself for this video, so let's just go straight into it, right? Right, angels appear on Christmas Day. Let's, I tell you what, let's just, I mean, all of this now is, is aged slightly. It's the 28th, so it's a little bit, it's a little bit old, so we won't bother reading all the stuff about Christmas trees and the like. Let's just scrub. There we go. Oh yeah. First impression: the <laughs> the burning steak skeleton on the base is hardcore. Love that. Um, the actual, you know, model itself is also pretty cool. It looks massive. I don't know whether it's. I think it's the extra cloth and stuff, like the robe and the cloak over the Terminator armor, makes him look absolutely gigantic. The girth, the girth on this lad, is unreal. I don't know what it is that's making him seem so, just so, so chunky. I mean, the new Terminators do look chunky anyway, to be fair, but there's just something about this where he's he's got quite the commanding presence, which, I mean, it makes sense. As the Master of the Deathwing, you should have that sort of presence, but yeah, it's, it's very, very, very kind of larger than life for some reason. Overall, though, overall, I really, I really like the way he looks. It's kind of interesting the way the cloth over the breastplate has made it kind of relatively plain. There's not a lot going on detail-wise, just there on that part of the chest. But then on the tilt shield, you've got like the full Dark Angel's kind of crest going on. Then you've also got additional things like those ropes holding the cloak on, which again, add a bit more visual detail. So it's kind of like you've got this plain bit where normally you'd see a bit of detail from the actual armor. That's not there, but instead a ton of it has been moved off to the side, which I don't know, I quite like. It doesn't make it look too busy or anything. It looks decent. The cloaked head looks pretty decent. I have to admit, I'd prefer a hooded Terminator helm, but then you know my uh, my preference for that sort of thing. The Storm Bolter looks absolutely grand. The crest over the top of the head does look decent. There's lots of kind of studs and sp not like spikes yeah i think studs is the right word isn't it kind of going on on the armor like on the greaves on the van brace and stuff i like that it adds a little bit extra it just adds just a little bit of kind of visual interest which i think actually this might need purely because of the robe covering so much of the leg and of the chest i think if the cloth wasn't there and there was tons of iconography it would look too busy but I think they've balanced it right with the way they've done this. Question is, do we have a back view? Because, oh, you can also build Belial with his hood pulled down. Okay, that's cool. That's that's fine. Um, yeah, there we go. There's a there's a back view, like in a back view. Oh, the little detail of the vents on the armor, having those kind of cross pattern in them. That's, that's kind of cool. That's very, like, uh, old church window, that. I like that a lot. That's a fun little detail. That's good. We'll ignore the print lines on the cloak itself. They won't be present in the plastic release. <laughs> Obviously, like when it comes to the promotional images, a lot of the time they 3D print the model like in-house, and that's why you have those print lines and stuff. So they can get the marketing out before the model is actually in production. So yeah, we'll just, we'll just ignore that. Just ignore it. I think a lot of that girth, a lot of the kind of size that's going on with this guy is down to this cloak. Like Belial looks like an absolute chunky monster. And I think it's just a sheer amount of fabric that's going on. Like, from the back, that looks like a massive miniature. He's still just Terminator size, though, I think. I think, or at least, he might be slightly bigger, but he's not, like, absolutely colossal. But there's just something about that amount of cloak just seems to really, like, really pump up just how big the model seems the shoulder pad looks great i'm curious actually is that car like is that engraved in or did they paint that on because it says belial on his little bit of like the little emblem of the of the cloth is that something you have to draw on yourself or is that already embossed into it be interesting to find out. I think from the angle on the other bit, it looks like it might be carved in. If that's the case, it makes him harder to kind of convert for other uses. But you know what? It is a cool touch, and it does mean you don't have to freehand a text, which 
Uh, no, no, don't don't want to do that. Don't like that. It's 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 better that way. <laughs> Besides, a bit of liquid green stuff, it'll just take it right out if you don't want to have Belial written on his shoulder. Also, that purity seal on the skeleton is is cool. I like it. Overall, I mean, he looks like a big, solid, chunky Terminator dude. Therefore, he looks class. I think there's a nice balance of cloth and detail. I think the the cloak makes him look absolutely huge and imposing. Gives him that extra width, which I really like. There is a little bit of tactical rocks, although it's tactical ruin stepping going on, so maybe not fair to call it a tactical rock. Tactical ruin, maybe. But, yeah, pose is pretty cool too. I do like the pose, very purposeful, very imposing. Now, something else that's referenced in this article is Inner Circle Companions, which we also need to take a look at. I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure what those are. I need to do a bit of googling and find out whether they're new, whether they're old, mentioned in stuff, but never actually had models, because... God knows there's enough of that going on in 40k, but I've seen little glimpses and I'm, there's a high chance of excitement here, to be honest. Right, let's take a look at the Inner Circle... Oh, yeah, Inner Circle Companions. <laughs> Just immediately was like, all right, that's class. Oh, God. Oh, no. They're doing it. They're doing the thing I really like. <sighs> I don't know what it is. I love, like, robes over armor and, like, hoods over helms. It just, it's such a cool look. It's so good. These look solid. Massive two-handed swords. They'll be like, what, what are they called? Cal Calibanite blades, whatever they are. The robes look top class. They, they look so good. The armor having those extra studs and like details on them. Being a little bit chunkier in places. Oh no. These feel like they've been targeted specifically at me. I do and don't like it. Yeah, look, and we've got like a mix of, we've got a mix of like helms as well. So they're primarily scaled, and the armor looks to be, uh, it looks to be Mark X or whatever, but the helms are different on a few. Ooh, oh, the variation is so cool. Oh, the variety. Oh, it's so good. Things like all the keys hanging off ropes and belts. You've got all this kind of iconography and feathers and stuff. The fact they've all got those thurables, those sensors, on the back of their power packs and are sticking out the top. I love that. That looks so cool. Oh, God. Oh, no. These are great. I really like these. I mean, to be honest, they also... Obviously, Dark Angels uh, do the whole robe thing very, very well. But there's something about Giganto swords that are just, I guess, just... My mind goes to Black Templars when there's, like, kind of... A good amount of, like, uh, semi-religious or religious iconography, I kind of end up going towards, oh, it, it kind of feels Sisters of Battle, it feels Black Templars primarily, maybe word bearers. These feel like they've got quite an overload of that kind of, like, those sort of symbols, but it's very Dark Angel specific, which I really like. Yeah, I like these a lot. A lot. The way the sleeves go under the under the shoulder pads, that's really cool. Oh, the little detail on the bottom of the robes as well. They've all got that kind of, like, spiked... Like, I don't know what to call it. Just, just like, extra stitching on the bottom that's got a kind of... Almost like a like an iron fence top. I don't know how else to... What else to compare it to. Oh, these are great. I love that icon as well. That big banner. Absolutely hardcore. Like, that... It's go away a ton. I hope the guy hits people with it, because you would clean take someone's head off with that. Also, you can see he's got his sword sheathed over his uh, his, his power pack as well. Oh, it's, it's good. It's good. I like it. One mild thing, which I don't think is present on every model, which is interesting, and I'm not sure why it's present on this one. This guy has got the dreaded, like, just... Uh, blank sleeve where there's no cavity on the sleeve it's just a flat surface and it's been painted on which looks cheap but the others don't seem to have that necessarily so the guy next to him doesn't have that there is a cavity on the sleeve this lot again there is at least uh like a dip in the fabric so that it looks like it's not just a, a flat surface although there is a bit of it going on with the one at the front there that's interesting. I'd be very curious to see whether that's something that will be present in the plastic kit, because I'm assuming that 
like Belial, these are kind of these aren't the production models, but they might be. They may well be. Um, I wouldn't like to. I wouldn't like to say either way. It's kind of tricky to tell on this old carousel of dreams right here. But yeah, these look fantastic. They look great. They are busy, but they're not too busy. And a lot of the busyness is coming from the from the robes, which because it's quite flowing, I don't think is particularly jarring. The kind of combination of different little icons and keys and stuff hanging off the belts and the ropes is nice. I like the fact that there seems to be a good variety of those as well. Purity seals as well. There's a good number of purity seals. But again, not not too many. Yeah, these are solid. These are solid. Also a nice, a nice variety of uh, arm poses too. We do seem to have some repetition on the legs. It looks like we've got three sets of legs. Pretty much. Yeah, we've got three sets of legs. So are these going to be in a pack of three then? Oh, maybe they are. Although, no, they're too, um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to scroll down and have a look. But there is a decent there is a decent variety of, of arm poses at the very least, which helps a lot with the kind of repetitive leg poses. So we've got... What, what, actually, there's a repetition there, repetition there. Yeah, I, I think overall, though, overall... Besides, put different legs on the same arm poses and the model will look that bit different. So, yeah, okay. Yeah, I like them. I like them. It depends on what are they in, a set of three or a set of like five or six or what the deal is. So the Inner Circle Companions were a mystery even to the Grand Master of the Unforgiven Chapters. What is known is that they began to appear shortly after the return of Lionel Johnson. Oh, okay, so they are new. Okay, cool. Cool. Where they come from and why they choose to bodyguard their charges is left unknown. That <laughs> saves having to write it, I guess. Also, they fight in complete silence, save for the whine of their power armor and rare, highly encrypted messages between their brothers. That's really fun. I like that a lot. Got a nice back and side view as well. Yeah. Oh, the... <sighs> Look at that, like, scabbard for the... For the... The great sword. That's quality. I love that. Oh, it's great. Yeah, I like these a lot. A lot. Does it say... It doesn't seem to say how many there's going to be in a box, which is a shame. I'd really like to know that. I'd really like to know. Oh, and look, new uh, new upgrade pack as well. What have we got in here, then? So we've got a Raven Wing wing. A Raven Wing wing. That's, don't say that too quickly. Plasma Cannon. A few Terminator parts. Quite a lot of shoulder pads. There's a lot of shoulder pads in there. That's cool. I love the big book. Always love the big book. Also a little watcher carrying a big book. Solid. Nice variety of heads as well. Yeah, that seems like a decent upgrade pack. That seems like a good that seems like a good one. We know what you're thinking. The only way this could get any better is if you get the lion show of these new miniatures early and a great big box full of Terminators, upgrade sprues, and a special edition of it. I was I mean well, I was kinda of thinking that. I was mostly thinking how many of the inner circle companions do you get in a box. But also this is fine too. That's also kind of tempting as well. I'm just gonna say it. That's tempting me. That is very tempting me because it's a box of 15 Terminators with a Terminator leading them, and that's that's kind of, well, yeah, I quite I quite like that because it's full of Terminators, and I love me some Terminators. It, if anything, this feels weirdly targeted as well. Although, to be fair, I'm not alone in my love of Terminators. Everyone loves a Terminator. It's just how it is. So we've got the Codex Supplement, Dark Angels as well. Oh, come on. Come on. Where does it say? Where does it say? It doesn't say. Of course it doesn't. Well, aside from that one complaint of not knowing how many things are in the thing, that's some cool stuff. Belial looks solid, the Inner Circle Companions look absolutely magical, and I love them, and a box of 16 Terminators is right up my alley. I mean, there's a whole bunch of... Most of that is all Terminators. There's like 20... I need to count them again. I think there's 25 now. Or is it 30? No, I haven't got... Some of them aren't put together. There's like some boxes of Terminators over there. Maybe I should just do that. Maybe I should just... Should just build those. Maybe I should build those. Or sell them and use that to get the box of new Terminators because the scaling's better and that's what I want. Okay, well, I've made a decision right there and then. Sorted. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you thought of all those in the comments down below. I hope you had a lovely Christmas. Video production is mostly back in full swing. Wish me a bit of luck because there's a light fitting up there where when it rains heavily, water starts dripping through it. So... Things might be a little bit disrupted as we go into the new year, because that's bad, obviously. It's not great. 
Um, but we'll just have to power through and see what happens. I am getting someone to look at it. I'm not ignoring it. Don't worry. Anyway, what was that tangent? Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you for the next one.